I feel like I'm getting ready to sell you a $1,000 iPhone, uh, but I won't. Uh, my name is Claudio Ochoa. I'm the co-founder of Native State Foods. Native State Foods is on a mission to change the way that America powers its day. Um, there we go. Uh, and why should anyone care? Uh, because for too long, this has been the way that America has powered its day. It's because of these processed foods that today, about two-thirds two of all Americans are obese. Um, we decided that we we're going to tackle this problem starting with the beige mushy stuff in the corner, which we affectionately know as oatmeal. Um, despite the fact that breakfast is so unhealthy, 80% of all Americans still consider it the most important meal of the day. In fact, they spend close to $16 billion a year on the category. About $1.5 billion of that is spent on hot cereal sales. The remarkable part is that 90% uh, of the category is really just a reformulation of a single food, and that's oatmeal. Uh, about two-thirds of that is actually controlled by a single company. Uh, that company uh, does about $700 million in sales. Uh, I'm not going to mention names, but it's a brand that has remained unchanged for about uh, 150 years. And we are on a mission to do something about that because we think we have a better tasting, better for you version of oatmeal. Uh, introducing Panole. So if everyone can say it with me one time, Panole. One, two, three. Panole. Panole. Okay. Excellent. Um, so what is Panole? Panole is an ancient Aztec power food. It's been around for about 500 years. It's a combination of purple maize, raw cacao, and cinnamon that are stone milled and stone, uh, sorry, slow roasted and stone milled together. Uh, and it's been used as an ingredient to make everything from uh, tortillas to beverages to hot cereal products. You may actually be familiar with Pinol because of these amazing people. Uh, this is a Tarahumara Indian. Uh, they were made famous in the book Born to Run. Uh, the Tarahumara have an amazing ability to run nonstop, hundreds of miles at a time. They have virtually no incidence of modern day disease, diabetes, or cancer. And one of their food staples happens to be Pinol. So, compared to conventional oatmeal, Pinol has about three times the protein, two times the fiber and a boatload of antioxidants. It's also gluten-free and non-GMO. We've introduced it in two breakfast cereal lines, an at-home version, which is a multi-serve, and a grab-and-go snack cup, seven different flavors. Uh, we work closely with our farmers to actually grow the core ingredients of Pinol. These are actually two of our farmers in Nebraska. And one of the cool things that we like to say with our farmers is they actually know where their food ends up, which is a really, really uh, thing that we're very proud of as a company. Uh, we've had some amazing growth and some amazing traction. Uh, we are currently in uh, three major retailers. Those would be Wegmans, Sprouts, and Whole Foods. Uh, we will double the number of doors we're in by the end of this year and double it for the next three years going forward. Uh, our business model is, frankly, to keep on replicating the success that we're having, and that means talking authentically to each one of our consumers. Uh, it also means meeting our consumers where they need power in their day. So we have several product lines that will be rolling out, uh, including a snack bite and some other formulations that will be coming over the next year. Uh, this has resulted in some great buzz for our company. Uh, we've been named everything from the next uh, acai bowl to the next quinoa, uh, something we're really proud of and we keep on moving forward. Uh, we haven't done it alone. We've been backed by an amazing team. Uh, my co-founder, Angela Palmieri, is actually uh, comes from the marketing side. She helped introduce Stevia to the US market. I'm a former and repenting corporate lawyer, uh, also previously served in the White House. Um, and we're backed by an amazing group of advisors, everyone from Mark Rampola, the founder of Zico, to the former president of Kellogg's, and to the current CEO of Newman's Organics. And so with that, I'd like to welcome up my co-founder to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.